Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 100. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome to Living Grace Worship yes. Cathedral. I know that we're here in the lights of day. We're doing something a little different on this Sunday. We want to welcome those who are on Facebook Live. Amen. Welcome to Living Grace Worship Cathedral. I know that you've been waiting until the count doc has finished, yes. but we are here and we need everyone's participation Amen. on this morning. Amen. I need you to get your phones out. Get your phones out. If you got a phone, amen get it out and what we're going to do as we start off our holiday celebration which we're going to call our selfie sunday amen. amen amen i need a huge 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 favor why don't you just take a selfie of yourself the people behind you people in front of you yes. you look so festive you look so handsome and beautiful in your holiday colors and we know others that are coming and those who are online we need you to participate yes. as well because you are online and not in the house does not mean you are excluded amen. And so we want you to get your phone out. I want you to take a picture of your Christmas tree, you in front of your Christmas tree, or where you are in your home, and then tag that to the Living Grace Worship Cathedral page. Pound That's LGWC. Pound LGWC. The youth say hashtag LGWC. Hashtag yes. LGWC. Yes. And just put there worshiping at Living Grace Worship Cathedral. But we are excited. Come on, make some noise. Hallelujah. We are excited because this is the day that the Lord has made yes. and we're here to rejoice and be glad. Yes. Can we just stand to our feet this morning and just begin to give God just a Worship. praise this morning? Hallelujah. Can we just set the atmosphere? Hallelujah. 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 Oh, come on, come on, come on. He woke you up. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Come on. He's worthy. He's worthy. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Come on. Let us exalt his name together. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. So many didn't make it, but I'm so glad that I did. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Give him your best praise. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you as we set the atmosphere. Yes, Lord. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. Yes, God. We thank you for your everlasting love. Yes. We thank you, God, because you've been good to us than we have been to ourselves. Yes. And so, God, on today, we're here to celebrate the newborn King. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we're here to celebrate the birth yes. and the second coming. Yes. God, we know that you have more in store for us. Yes, and so, God, we pray on this morning that you will pour out your spirit upon all flesh. Meet yes, us where we are. Heal us where we are. Pick us up where we are. Comfort us where we are in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. We're praying for the sick and shut in. We're praying for the bereaved. We're praying for those, those who are challenged and those who have no hope. God, you are the comforter. Yes, Father. God, that you will dry every tear from our eyes. That only weeping, only weeping will endure just for the night. For the night. But God, I'm thanking you for unspeakable joy. Thank joy morning, that God. comes like yes. a river. Joy that's deep down in our souls. We thank you, thank you for Lord. the joy that is coming in our lives. Yes, God. And so, God, as we now go higher in the service, in this musical, in yes. the worship experience, in the word that's going to go for in the food that we're about to partake in, and the lives that's going to be changed, and the lives that will be healed, and the lives that will be yes, delivered, God. we thank you in thank advance, you, God. Those who are online, bless their homes, bless their families. Keep us all in perfect peace, God. Keep us from hurt, harm, danger, sickness, and disease. Yes. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Yes, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. We come against this variance. We come against the pandemic. We come against COVID-19. We come against sickness and disease. We come against high blood pressure. We come against arthritis. We come against AIDS, HIV. We come against cancers of all forms of kind. We come against sicker cells disorder we come against it right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus you shall be healed yes. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God, we're always careful to give you all the praise, all the praise. and all the, glory. all the glory in Jesus' name. Come on, put your blessed hands together one Hallelujah. more time and thank the Lord for Jesus. Glory Come on, you, thank God. the Lord for Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on and thank the Lord for Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you. Thank we you, thank Lord. you. We thank you. Thank you God. Hallelujah. Praise Thank the Lord. You, you may be seated. You Thank may be you, seated. Sister Wanda, you can bring them down right here to this front. Amen. That's Amen. our special guest. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. If we have any first-time guest worshipers, we would love to acknowledge your presence. I know it's a little dim in here, but you could just give us a wave. Any first-time guest worshipers? First time, Amen. Praise I the Lord. I bless you and welcome. Amen. Amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Living Grace. We pray you felt love when you came into the house of the Lord. We know the Word and His Holy Spirit dwells here, and we. We ask this not be your first time your last time coming but do come again amen amen amen, amen. amen. Thank praise you. the lord well listen we are excited this is not our traditional style of worship as you already know we're doing something different for the holiday season and we wanted to um, just acknowledge amen the birth of our lord and savior jesus christ and so we have a musical that is set forth for us on this morning we have special recording gospel artists in the building for us this morning amen other than our spiritual sister serena ruffin just got in 3 30 this morning from atlanta georgia so we're praying her strength but we honor the lord that she was able to be here with us and for us on this sunday morning we have food that's going to be prepared uh, if you have your children they're in the classrooms our youth pastors uh, pastor siandra gosa and his lovely wife minister tanisha gosa is going to be doing our youth party in the background there in the classrooms so we're just excited to celebrate jesus anybody excited to celebrate jesus amen amen i'm going to ask our very own quentin and, and tashir they're going to come up and they're going to set the atmosphere in a worship experience for us on this morning we're few in numbers and we're praying for sister crystal our daughter took ill this morning so chris if you're watching we're praying we're praying right now for continued healing upon that precious princess that she is healed. Amen. Come on, come on. Let's put your hands together for this lovely couple, husband and wife, Quentin and Tysia. Now listen, feel free to stand and join in with worship however God leads and moves. Come, come let us adore him, kneel down before him, worship and adore him. Come, come let us adore him. Worship and adore you. Come on. Emmanuel. If you know the song, sing along. Emmanuel. 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 adore him, kneel down before him, worship and adore him. Come, come let us adore Emmanuel, 
Come on, somebody give God another praise. Oh, come on, we can do better than that. I said, come on, somebody give the Lord a praise. We come to adore him. We come to worship him. We come to bless him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Wow, thank you. Amen, Tashia and Quentin for setting. Hey, God, hallelujah, for setting the atmosphere. I don't know about you, but I feel the presence of the Lord in this place. I come to adore him. I don't know about you, but some of us have been through some stuff this year. 
Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I don't know about you. Somebody been through some sickness, some struggles, some difficulties, but thanks be to God. Hallelujah. God has kept us. He has brought us a mighty long way. He has provided. Amen. He has kept the clothes and the roof over our head on our back. Is anybody here happy just to tell the Lord thank you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The greatest gift you can give him is your worship. The greatest gift you can give him is your praise. The greatest gift you can give the Lord is your thanks right now. I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. I got a re I don't know, but, but tell your neighbor, I got a reason. I got a reason to give God praise. If that's your testimony, tell somebody, I got a reason to give God praise because it could have been me. It could have been you. I could have lost it all, but thanks. Oh, God. Thanks be to God. Woo! Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God. What a mighty God. I'm excited, y'all. I'm telling you, it's nothing that, hallelujah, presence can do for me but to be in the presence of God. Hallelujah. I, I don't opened up a lot of things and I cannot get the satisfaction I need like being in the presence of God. This is this is my this is my candy land. This is this is my, you know, a kid, a man before Christmas. I'm excited because the Bible declares uh, uh, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord and we ought to enter into his courts with thanksgiving and praise. Amen. Wow, we're kicking this thing off right. I'm excited about the worship. I'm excited about what God is doing you know i've been getting phone calls all week long and something about the end of the month the end of the year it just seems like the death tolls have always rise and risen and i done lost like three people that i know that were connected to me in the last few weeks and i know that sometimes for us it's just kind of hard to feel that feeling of getting festive and into the celebration. But when I just think of the goodness of Jesus, and when I begin to think about all that he has done for me, I tell you, this changes my whole uh, uh, mood swing and my whole atmosphere. That I just said, Lord, I thank you. And I said, even in the midst that we're celebrating life, it just seems like we're surrounded by death. And I still say, Lord, thank you. And we got to learn how to even thank God through the difficulties. You got to learn how to have a praise on your lips in your valley. You got to learn how to have a praise on your lips in your desert. You got to learn how to praise God through the storm, through the rain. Lord, I thank thank you because it could have been worse this could have been kentucky hello come on somebody you, you you know we shouldn't have to try to you know motivate us to give god this could have been kentucky this could have been little rock arkansas it could have been you looking through your house trying to find your personal belongings but that's not our story that's not our testimony this morning and so we're grateful. Hallelujah. We're grateful and we're praying, especially for those families that are dealing with that right now. Families that had presents and trees and plans and vacations and all of that got turned upside down in an instant. Whew. We got so much to be grateful and thankful for. Could have been us. And so that's why we are so excited to celebrate and worship God, because even what they're going through, God will still never leave them. God will still never forsake them. God will still never fail them. God is a covenant keeper, and he will keep his word, and he will restore, and he will provide, and he will rebuild, and he will make a way out of no way for their lives. Do I have a witness? How do I know? Because he did it for me. And I know he did something for you. Have you ever lost something, been through something, and you know it was nobody but God help me right there. 
Pastor Pernell, it was nobody but the Lord. It was nobody but the Lord. I can't thank the doctor. I can't thank the bank. I can only thank God that he saw me through. I can't thank the medication. I can't thank the treatment. It was nobody but God. Hallelujah. And that's why we're here, and this is why we're worshiping. This is why we give thanks. This is why we give praise, because it was nobody but the Lord. Amen. Well, moving on in our program, we know that there's a lot of things that Living Grace Worship Cathedral is doing um, in this community. The Lord has blessed us and afforded us to be here in this awesome community for eight years, and God has been doing supernatural and miraculous things in the lives of this community, this state, and our congregation. And so we have some morning announcements. We do need your support and participation on the events that we do have coming up, and so please just stay tuned to the monitors for your morning announcements. Amen. Good morning, Living Grace Worship Cathedral. Here are your announcements. Join us Wednesday at 7 p.m. for Wednesday night recharge Bible study. Recharge will be held here at Living Grace Worship Cathedral as well as on Facebook Live. We hope to see each and every one of you there. Please join us every Thursday night from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. for Bible studies with Pastor Tim. This will be held on Facebook Live and we hope to see each and every one of you there. Living Grace Worship Cathedral and Regeneration presents Blast Bible Learning and Spiritual Training. Join us every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. for our youth and young adult roof charge. Also, join us every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. for our youth church. We hope to see you all there. Living Grace Worship Cathedral presents 100 Praying Women Friday, January 7th, 2022 at 7 p.m. Special guest Bishop Sadie Brunson, event leader Elder Linda LaRue. Friday, January 7th, 2022 at 7 p.m. All are welcome. Join us for our Christmas Worship Fellowship on December 19th at 10 a.m. And please remember to wear your ugly Christmas sweater and enjoy holiday cookies and refreshments with us. We hope to see each and every one of you there. God bless. Calling all millennials ages 19 to 35. Join us here at Living Grace Worship Cathedral every fourth Saturday at 12 p.m. for the Millennial Meetup. Come on out and join us as we go through the book Crazy Faith by Michael Todd. If you would like to participate, please make sure you purchase your book as soon as possible. The book can be purchased through Amazon, Walmart, and Target. We hope to see you all there. God bless. Join us for Watch Night Service on Friday, December 31st. This will be held here at Living Grace Worship Cathedral and on Facebook Live. We hope to see each and every one of you there. Join us for prayer Monday through Fridays at 12 p.m. The dialing number is 716-427-1359 and the access code is 625-910. Also, join us for Back to the Altar Prayer every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. here at Living Grace Worship Cathedral and on Facebook Live. We hope to see each and every one of you there. Join us for 2022, the year of a new, New Year's Eve praise party. The doors open at 9.30 p.m. and all are welcome. Meet us here at 100 West Green Street, Middletown, Delaware, 19709. We hope to see you all there. Are you ready for the year of a new? Join us for our 21-day Daniel Fast, January 3rd through the 24th. Join us for praying, fasting, and consecrating ourselves to the Lord. We hope that you all join us. God bless. We need your help. Volunteer teachers are needed on Sunday mornings for our youth and teen church. For more information and to sign up, please see Youth Pastor Siandre Gosa or Minister Tonisha Gosa today. Thank you. Living Grace Worship Cathedral, New England Campus, Winter Coat Drive. Now accepting donations of your new or slightly used coats. You can drop off your donations at 33 Dover Street, Suite 337, Brockton, Massachusetts. The Winter Coat Drive will take place on Saturday, January 8th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. The distribution site will be 54 North Main Street, Brockton. Also, we are raising funds to purchase hats, gloves, and scarves via Cash App, dollar sign, LGWC, NEC. Let's help keep others warm this holiday season. Thank you all for your attention and please govern yourselves accordingly. God bless. Hail the heaven prince of peace. Hail the son of righteousness.
righteousness, light and life to all he brings, risen with the living in his wings. Miles he lays his glory by, born that man no more may die, born to raise the sons of earth, born to give them second birth. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. <laughs> Happy holidays and a Merry Christmas to everyone. Um, we're just coming for a few minutes, you know, just to give you a little, we're going to start you off with some Christmas and, you know, then we're going to switch up a little gospel into you, but we'll, we'll, we'll slide you into that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So y'all ready to, you know, enjoy with us. It's the holiday season. We're going to smile today. We're going to thank God today for waking us up and being here and being grateful. So let's just have fun, okay? We're going to start off with my favorite things, okay? Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens Bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens Brown paper packages tied up with strings These are a few of my favorite things Cream colored ponies and crisp apple strudels Doorbells and sleigh bells with snizzle and noodles Wild geese that fly with the moon on their wings These are a few of my favorite things Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes Doorbells and sleigh bells and door lashes Silver white winters that melt into springs These are a few of my favorite things When a dog bites, when a bee stings When I'm feeling sad Well, I simply remember my favorite things And then I don't feel so bad Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens Bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens Bright paper packages tied up with strings and These are a few of my favorite things Cream color ponies and crisp apple strudels Doorbells and sleigh bells with snizzle and noodles Wild geese that fly with the moon on their wings and These are a few of my favorite things Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes And the snowflakes that stay on my lashes Silver white winters that melt into springs These are a few of my favorite things When a dog bites, when a bee stings When I'm feeling sad Well, I simply remember my favorite things And then I don't feel so I love the little jazzy versions of the songs. It just makes you feel a little kind of certain way, you know? <laughs> Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Bright copper candles and wool. Bright Piper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes. Snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes. Silver white winters melt into springs. These are a few of my favorite things. When a dog bites, when a bee stings, when I'm feeling sad. Well, I simply remember my favorite things, and then I don't feel so
one of my favorite Christmas songs. Um, this is actually my very first time singing it. Um, and it took me to um, a place back in my college years where I studied music and vocals and stuff like that. And this week, it was kind of a reminder that I had to stay on top of my craft and what God has given me because I had so many opportunities this week to sing at different functions. And I was like, wait a minute. I said, there's so many songs to learn. I said, I don't have the memory like I used to. So I'm just like, I don't know what I'm going to do. But he reminded me, he said, I gave you the gift. I gave you the calling. So use it. I got you. So I said, okay. So it was about 10 to 15 songs I had to get like real quick. And all the songs is worthy. We know Christmas songs. You know, it can be words all day long. And I'm dyslexic. <laughs> But that's a testimony to show you that you can do it in spite of your disabilities. So whatever it is that you're doing that, you know, that's your passion or, you know, your craft, just stay with it. And every time you have opportunities that arrive, you have to be ready. So when the time arrives, you know, you can deliver and somebody can be saved. So that's what we're here to do, even though we're celebrating, you know, Christmas. But um, Tashi is going to sing O Holy Night, and she's going to give you a little piece of something. I'm going to let her take over now. <laughs>
She sounds so pretty. She's so nice. <laughs> That's my wife. <laughs> um, now we're going um, to tell the Lord how much we love him. And, um, and just how much we adore him. And we just honor him and thank him, you know, just for being here. And all the experiences that we experienced. So... We're going to take you to the preacher's wife with I Love the Lord.
pays unto his throne. Can you give us a little, um, oh, to his worship? I don't know about you, but I love the Lord. And that song just makes me want to just praise him. It just makes me want to worship. So if you feel a praise, if you feel a worship, come on and lift your hands and let's praise him. Hallelujah. He's so good. He's so good. He's so great. He's worthy. He's so worthy. Hallelujah. Just saying this. I'll hasten to his throne. Sing with us. I'll hasten to his throne. I'll hasten to up to you we, we we can get you one more one more or y'all want to end right here on the way hasten to your throne you want to praise God real quick come on let's give God praise let's give God praise come on give him praise right. give him praise I love the praise hallelujah we're gonna praise his name so let's get up on your feet come on hallelujah we're gonna do this together tell me up all the way up if you can Hey. 
gotta put on my clothes and get to church so I can praise him. I love to praise him. Rock with me. sit down to our seats but Merry Christmas praise the Lord hallelujah thank you come on I know we can give God a praise right there does anybody love to praise him come on does anybody love to praise him I love to praise his whole his holy name can we praise God for Quentin and Tyshia. Come on, let's make some noise. Hallelujah. 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 Please be seated. I'm telling you, my, my soul, my heart is so filled right now. You just, it's so hard to explain how, you know, God is just moving in this place. And, you know, many of you don't know, we, we were going through... <laughs> Just to get to this point, y'all just don't know what we went through. I'm just going to leave it like that. But God always has a plan. He always has a way. He always has a ram in the bush. And I tell you that, God, you're just awesome. You're just awesome. And you do thing, all things well. Hallelujah. God is so awesome and he does all things well. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you for your ministry. Thank you. For your commitment thank you for your leadership thank you for just who you are real people thank you 
for just blessing us on this morning. I didn't have to pull. I didn't have to, you know, beg. I just like, yo, listen. I told Quinn, I was like, dog, just do what you do. And and they did that. Didn't they do that? Are y'all blessed? Are y'all enjoying yourself? Amen. Amen. You know, this is just a thought that just popped in my head. And I just at the last minute threw it out to the team. And they caught it. They ran with it. I says, you know, I'm trying to try things differently in, in this new year. And I'm just grateful for our leaders. I'm grateful for our staff. I'm grateful for everyone who was able to pull this together. Some people didn't even know what they were doing until they got here. And they just jumped in and they just started doing That's what makes living grace. Amen. That we have awesome, awesome people in our community that just jump in. And you would think that we had meetings and you would think that we planned. You would think that we talked. Amen. But they just jumped in and made it happen. And I'm so grateful. Amen. How many know we worship the Lord in our giving? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship the Lord in our giving because we give to God because God constantly and always gives to us. And the Bible declares it's a blessing to give than it is to receive. And as we make preparation and, and prepare the way for the coming of our newborn King, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, as we celebrate, amen, his birthday on Christmas is coming Saturday, we want to give him the greatest gift. We want to bless him because he's constantly blessing us. On your birthday, you want to be blessed as well. Amen. If it's a phone call, a card, a text, a dinner, a little piece of change, amen. You love, amen, to be acknowledged on your day. It's his day. Every day is his day. But we set this time aside to acknowledge the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. How many know that mission is our ministry? Mission is our ministry. Everything that we do here at this church and our New England campus is always built around mission, meeting the needs. I believe in standing on the principles and the precepts of Jesus Christ. When I was hungry, did you feed me? When I was naked, did you clothe me? When I was thirsty, did you give me something to drink? I live by that every day of my life. When you do the least of these to your brothers or your sisters, you have done unto me. And so when the Lord led us out to start ministry, ministry was based upon a mission. How can we reach the lost? How can we help souls be saved, healed, set free, and delivered? How can we help families get through? And all of you know we have done outreach here in the community, international and abroad. My phone has been blowing off the hook. Bishop, what are you doing for Kentucky, what are you doing? What are your plans? Politicians are calling me. Elected officials are calling me. Businesses are calling me. What are you doing? Whatever you do, I know that you guys do it well, and we want to partner with you. So we're in the plans and preparation of doing something for Kentucky. I believe we're going to start working on putting together a blood drive and a water drive. People are calling me, are you sending a truck? Do y'all remember when we sent the truck, amen, to Texas, amen, and we blessed so many families out there when the hurricane hit there in Texas. I'm getting called, Bishop, when the truck is leaving. So I'm in that process right now. It kind of happened, you know, during a really bad time because so many people are traveling for the holiday season. A lot of businesses that I do partner with are shut down for the new year. But nevertheless, the Lord is going to send us and give us what we need. Amen? Amen. Amen. So I need your support on this morning to give, give above and beyond. This gift is to help give gifts to others. Amen. We had a toy drive out there. and We have collected some items because we partnered with the Sunday breakfast mission. Amen. And we're sending toys uh, there, the town has donated ham, amen, about 10 to 15 hams from the town of council and the mayor Branner's office called me and said, Bishop, you're always doing stuff for the community. We want to give ham. And so we're going to be receiving that. We're going to get it out to the families of our residents to make sure that on this Christmas they have a decent meal to eat. Hallelujah. We did it on Thanksgiving. We made sure that Elder Linda LaRue and her staff made sure that we bless over 20 families for Thanksgiving with turkeys and stuffings and canned goods because we made it happen. Your donations 
made it happen, and we want to say thank you again. And so we're getting ready to do it, but I think we're going to do it big for Kentucky, and we're going to do it big for Little Rock, Arkansas, and I need your support today. If you can write, amen, a generous seed, if you can give a generous seed on today. We promised Pastor Tim, he may be on, we have our second location in New England, and he's getting ready to do a quote drive, and I'll be up there on January 8th. Amen. To assist him on that. He has a building. Come on. We, we, we got church, y'all. We got a building. We got chairs. We got a podium. We got our logo up. We are ready to go. Amen. Our second campus. So we're going to be working on our launch date for that. He is working extremely, extremely hard. And he's already out there in the community. He's probably going to kill me because I put it out there. But I want to tell you, I'm excited. Hey, man, I've seen the photos. I see what he's doing. And we're getting ready to do a massive coat, glove, scar. Everything we do down here, he's doing up there. And I committed to send him $1,000 from the head church to support him in that effort. So let's do this. Let's do this big so that we can continue to meet families and lives. Because missions is our what? Missions is our what? Ministry. That is, that's, that's who we are. That's who we are. That's our DNA. If anybody asks you, what's Living Grace about? What do they do? Missions is their ministry. That's, that's, what, that's our niche. Some churches have their own niche. That is our thumbprint because we're concerned about each and every one of you. That's what God called us to do. So can we do that on today? God loves a what? cheerful giver and so we have our baskets that's going to be coming around we do have electronic giving for those who may want to give electronically we do have online giving for those who may want to give online those who are watching please partner with us and support us so that we can continue to do the mission that god called us to do there's a video announcement that will be played for you and so let's give unto the lord Amen. Praise the Lord. As they're still giving, let's bless it. Father, we thank you, God, for each and every seed and every sower who have sown into good ground physically, electronically. God, we thank you. You said in your word, Father, you'll press it down, shake it together, build it up, let it runneth over to meet the needs of your house. We thank you, God, that we're able to do mission and help families and do the work that you call, chosen, and commission us to do. We give you glory, and we give you the honor. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, listen, I'm excited. Before the word comes forth, we have a special guest. Come on, make some noise for our special guest. Amen. We have no other than our spiritual sister. Amen. She has been here before. She's no stranger to Living Grace Worship Cathedral. Every time that she's able to get in town, she's either connecting with me and I'm connecting with her. We're excited that she made her way, amen, early in the morning to be here with Living Grace Worship Cathedral just to say, what thus saith the Lord through song? She has a CD, a Christmas CD out. She's a recording gospel artist she's a business entrepreneur she's an anointed woman of god she's a mother she's a sister she is a friend and she's a friend to living grace 
Worship Cathedral, no other than Sister Serena Ruffin. Amen. Is in the building all the way from the Dream Center, Atlanta, Georgia. Her pastor is Bishop William Murphy, and we thank God and we honor the Lord for him for releasing her to come to bless us on today. So as she make her way, amen, to the pulpit, amen. Let's give God praise for her. Hallelujah. And after that, the word of the Lord. All right, family, it's so good to be back in the house this morning. So good to see you. I know, come on, we can do better than that. Give yourselves a hand. I am tired. <laughs> I worked a 10 hour shift yesterday and then I traveled for about six hours. I was in the airport, flight delayed, but God is good. He's faithful and I am here. And God's going to continue to strengthen me. Amen. I'm telling you, listen, Christmas is one of my favorite holidays. Um, I mean, what other holidays do we have? So many songs that represent the holiday season. And most importantly, you know, the birth of Jesus. I mean, the birthday of Jesus. And um, I'm just so excited to be here. So, you know, don't, don't get too comfortable. We're still going to have a little church, a little worship. Amen. We came to praise him, to celebrate. Hallelujah. And um, so I just want, I want y'all to participate with this song. Jesus, oh, what a wonderful child. Amen. Come on, stand up on your feet. I seen some people over here singing and moving. Come on, we're going to cut. Could you pick that up for me? Uh-huh. To the newborn king. Come on, clap your hands right there. Oh, here we go. Jesus, Jesus, oh, what a wonderful child. Jesus, Jesus, so holy. Father, through wise men came afar to see the shining star, to see the baby laid in the manger field with hair. Somebody help me say, Jesus, Jesus. oh, what a wonderful oh, child. What a wonderful child. Oh, Of Jesus, so holy, holy, meek, and mild through life, life to all he brings. Listen to the angels sing glory, glory, glory to the new boy. Oh, he was heralded by the angels, born in a lowly manger, virgin man. And Joseph was his earthly father. The wise men came to see. The baby was born in a way. He was born in a manger full of hay. And we're gonna say, Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful oh, child. What a wonderful child. Help me say, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Glory, glory, glory to the new born. Now come on, right here, we're going to clap our hands. Come on. 
can't help me call his name. Oh, what's his name? Jesus, 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 the provider, Jesus, the breaker, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, somebody call him Jesus, 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 Jesus. Somebody call him healer, Jesus, Jesus, Savior, Jesus, Redeemer. Oh, help me call Jesus, 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 oh, the rock in the weary land, Jesus, oh, he was born in a manger, he was here to save the world, Jesus, 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 and we sing glory, glory, glory to the new boy king. We say it again, glory, glory, glory to the new boy. One more time, glory, 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 glory to the new boy king. Now come on, clap your hands and give God wonderful counselor he's a mighty God he's the Prince of Peace come on Jesus I'm talking about your healer I'm talking about your Savior I'm talking about Jesus the one and the only way maker somebody give God praise come on give him praise hallelujah He's so good. He's so good. And he's faithful. Hallelujah. How many know that his goodness and his mercy continues to run after you? It continues to seek and chase you. Hallelujah. This next song says, talks about the goodness of the Lord. enjoy them. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. In all my days, I've been held in your hand. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head of the goodness of God Cause all my life you have been faithful And all my life you have been so so good With every breath that I am made Oh I'm gonna say the goodness of God. I love your voice. You have held me through the fire in darkness nights. You were there like no other. I know you as a fire. I have. 
flourish him. Come on, he's been good. He's been good. Can you just think about it? Just think about all my life. He's been faithful. Every time you turn around, he's still right there. Come on, let's give him praise for his goodness and his mercy. Yes. I will sing of the goodness of God. I will sing of your goodness of God. Yes, I will sing. Come on, sing it with me. Of the goodness of God. Oh, I'm going to sing of the goodness of God. Hasn't he been faithful? All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. Come on, give your hands. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. Come on, can we just take a moment and just give him worship? Come on, let's just worship him for his goodness. Oh, God, you're so great, God. Oh, God, you're so fabulous. Come on, we serve a remarkable God. Come on, somebody worship him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, without you, we are nothing. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't live, God. We wouldn't move, God. We wouldn't have our being, God. We just thank you. Thank you. We don't deserve your goodness. Oh, but you saw fit to continue to bless us, God. Somebody open up your mouth and give them praise. Come on, lift up your hands and worship. Come on, where are you, worshiper? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, you, Lord. Thank, thank you, you, Lord. Hallelujah. 
I don't know about you, but I just love to worship God. Thank you, Lord. So I'm not going to be before you too much longer. There's one of my favorite Christmas songs that I recorded um, last year, and I just uh, wanted to sing it to, uh, today. Um, Silver Bells. Uh, I kind of made it a little churchy. <laughs> We'll put a little gospel on it. So I just wanted to share that with you, and I'll be out of your way. <laughs> Come on, we can do better than that. Come on, make some noise. 
Give God praise. Give God praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. No, I'm not sitting down. If I sit down, I ain't going to get up. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Serena. Come on, put your hands together again for her. What a powerful, powerful. I didn't think anybody can get saved off of silver bells like that. I tell you, I felt God all in there. Thank you, musicians. Thank you, Pastor Purnell. Amen. Thank you, Earn. Amen. You guys have been, been doing an awesome job. Listen, the food is here. Amen. The fellowship is here. The love is here. The Spirit of God is here. You guys have been patient. There is just a quick homily I just want to share uh, with you all in this word, in this holiday season. My uncles are here. I'm grateful to have my Uncle George, my Uncle Charles, my Aunt Angetta. This is my father's brothers. Amen. Overseer Frederick Gordon Brothers from Pennsylvania are here and their sister-in-law. I'm glad my family drove down to be with us on today. The Greens are here. Bless y'all. We've been praying. Glad to have y'all back. Thank God. Hallelujah. Elder Rakim is here. Thank God. We've been praying for divine healing. He's here. Amen. And we're all here. Listen, for those who have your Bibles, real quick, quick passage of Scripture. 1 John chapter 1. 1 John chapter 1. 1 John chapter 1, verses 5 through 9. It won't be before you too long. Just give me about 15 minutes of your ear just to hear this in this season of what God is saying because we understand that there is so much darkness, so much darkness around us financially, physically, spiritually, economically. We're dealing with so much darkness on every hand and side. Every time you turn on the news, there's darkness. Sometimes every time we walk out of your door, drive through a community, there is darkness. But there is a word that is going to help each and every one of us during this holiday season to fulfill our godly assignment. Amen. To fulfill your godly assignment. First John, first John chapter one, verse five through nine. Father, we thank you for this word. We thank you for the vocalists, the vocals that came forth, the angels, God, the Levites and the minstrels. We thank you, God that you were able to use them mightily and supernaturally on this special occasion, on this season that we glorify your name because you are high above the earth. And we thank you, God, that even though you sit high, you look low and you will never leave us nor forsake us because you are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are Emmanuel because you are with us. And we thank you, God, that you came because God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, that we as believers, sons and daughters may have everlasting life that even when we die, we shall live to be with him. Because he says, I go to prepare a place for you that you shall be with me. And so, God, we thank you now, God, that we are here celebrating you, the newborn king. Bless this word down in your messenger. If ever let the words of my mouth, the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And the people of God say amen, amen. This is the message we have heard from him and declare to you that God is light. God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him and yet walk in darkness, we lie and do not live out the truth. Verse number seven, but if we walk in the light, come on somebody, if we walk in the light as he is the light, then we have fellowship with one another. Two of us can be on the same, one can't go one direction, one can't go the other direction. How can two walk together unless they agree? Come on, somebody. But if we walk in the light as he is the light, we have fellowship. We are in this thing together. We are united. We have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus. For his son purifies us from all of our sins. The son purifies us from all of our sins. Verse number eight, if we claim to be without sin, come on. If you claim to be without sin, 
sin. You deceive yourselves, and the truth is not in us. But ninth verse says, but if we confess, come on, somebody. How many know every day you got to learn how to confess, amen, your faults, your knowns, your unknowns, your mistakes, your hiccups, your mistakes before the Lord. You must ask God every day, Lord, have mercy. Lord, forgive me of my sins. I might have said something. I might have did something unbeknownst to me. But God, have mercy because we all fall short. We all sin. We all make mistakes. We all do things sometimes that does not bring a smile to God's face. But the Bible tells us that if we claim that we're without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess, if we confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that the Lord Jesus came and was rose from the dead for our sins, he is faithful. Hallelujah. And not only is he faithful, but watch this. Verse number nine tells us he is just and will forgive us and forgive you and forgive me and forgive those who are watching online and those who have not even come to know him. He will forgive them of their sins and purity and unrighteousness. But you have to have a relationship. You got to come to know him. You have to begin to trust him. You got to live with him and live by him and live in him and through him. Do I have a believer? And so my brothers and sisters, as we come to the conclusion of this year, we have to understand that we need to let our light shine. You got to learn how to shine your light. Amen. You got to learn how to shine your light in darkness, in dark situation. My dad always says the only Christ they'll see is in you. You got to learn how to let people know that for God I live and for God I die. The Bible declares for us not to be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. You have to let this dying dark world know that the light still shines. Hallelujah, somebody. Yes, there's darkness around us. Yes, there's trouble on every hand inside. Yes, there's sickness and disease. Yes, there's COVID-19. Yes, there's poverty. Yes, there's mass shootings. Yes, there's killings. Yes, all of these things will happen, but there's still light. Oh, I wish I had a believer right there that no matter what I'm facing and no matter what it looks like, no matter what my outcome may be, I'm going to shine my light. We find, we find that this passage of scripture, the message of John and the other apostles preached came from God and not from men. The text reminds us that God is light in this scripture. Light and darkness are very similar symbols of light, refers to biblical truth, holiness, and purity. But while darkness refers to sin and doing wrong, amen. I'm so glad that God found me when he did and he brought me out of what darkness into to his marvelous light. Aren't you glad that when you were lost in sin, when you were deep down into your dirt and your filth, God found you right where he did in the nick of time and he rescued I wish I had a believer that don't mind thinking back over your life just to remember how God kept you and covered you and cleaned you and purified you and made you his own when others cast you out. Oh, y'all ain't going to say amen. Amen. You know some folks cast you out. Some folks tossed you away. Some folks forgot about you. Some folks lied on you. Some folks left you for spiritual death. Some might have left you for physical death. They knew that you was in trouble. They knew that you was abandoned. They knew that you was hurting. They knew that you was going through a difficult time. And they didn't have time for you. But the God that we serve, look beyond your faults. Look beyond your hurt. Look behind your hiccups. Look behind your mistakes. Look behind. I wish I had an excited person right there to say, he looked beyond me. Hallelujah. And he saw, what, what, what did he see, Bishop? I'll tell you what he saw. He saw his image. He saw his likeness. He saw light inside of you when the world saw darkness. He saw what he had created, and he had created you in the image and the likeness of him. I wish I had a believer that when I look at me, I see the Father. And when you look at me, I see the Father. I see the anointing. I see the blessing. I see the difference. I see the God that we serve. Hallelujah. 
That brings me to my point that we are overcomers. We're still overcoming some things. But when I think back over my life, and I can tell God, thank God I don't look like what I've been through. I can tell God, thank God I don't look like what I've been through. Oh, maybe it's just me up in here this afternoon. Thank God I don't look like the hell and the high water, the flood and the pain and the difficulty. Thank God I don't have the, the scars on my body that I've been through in life. That I don't look like. Mom Robin, I don't look like, I, Mom Robin, I don't even smell like what I've been through. Some of y'all been through some filthy places. Hallelujah. But you don't smell like the stuff that God brought you out of. Hallelujah. Some of y'all had desires in your mouth and in your heart and in your spirit. And you don't, I wish I had a witness that there was no program that you had to go through. God instantly healed you, instantly delivered you, instantly took that request, instantly took that desire, instantly took that temptation, instantly took that behavior, instantly took that talk. Instantly took that walk. Instantly took those actions from you. Woo! Hallelujah. That we are changed by the blood of the Lamb. We are changed. We are restored. We are renewed because he loved you enough. Hallelujah, somebody. I'm so glad that he loved me enough. Hallelujah, that he was able to change my life. Thank you, Jesus. That in this season, we are brand new. In this season, we allow our light to shine. How, Bishop, help me. How do I let my light to shine? It's how you treat one another. Hallelujah, somebody. It's how you treat somebody, how you make someone feel, how you receive them, how you do for others when others cannot do for themselves. That's the light. That, that's the light of Christ. How do I let my light shine when you really don't want to forgive? Come on, somebody. Y'all ain't going to like it. Oh, oh, Bishop, now you, you had me. I was on the edge of my seat till you said that. Yeah, some of us in this year, you got to let some stuff go. You can't carry that filth, that baggage, that weight, that pain, that abandonment, what they did, what they said into this new year because the Bible declares, behold, I will do a new thing. Have you, the question is asked, have you not know it? God asks you the question, look at all of this that I'm doing for you in your life. I'm getting ready to give you new opportunities, new endless possibilities, new blessings, new relationship, new doors, new windows, new increase, new this, new that. But you got to let some stuff go. You can't make room for, how can I put new wine in old wine? Y'all ain't saying nothing. How can I put new wine in old wine skin? God is trying to prepare the way and the text reminds us in Isaiah that he will make a river come on somebody in your desert God is getting ready to send streams of rivers of increase streams of rivers of blessing streams of rivers of healing streams of rivers of new possibility in you and a road in your desert that means tell somebody, I'm coming out of this. I'm coming out. I'm not in seeking sand. I'm getting ready to get on this road, and I'm not going to look back because there's a windshield of opportunity. There's a windshield of possibility. There's a windshield of new beginnings. There's a windshield of new blessing. And I'm just going to use my rearview mirror just to glance back, to think back where the Lord. I wish I had somebody to shout right there. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me I'm just going to look back and say Lord I thank you every now and then you better look back and say Lord, God, Lord, Lord I thank you I could have died back there but Lord I thank you I could have had COVID back there but Lord I thank you I could have been on a ventilator back there but Lord I thank you I could have been on my deathbed back there but Lord I thank you I could have lost it all back there but Lord I thank you and when you think back over your life and see where the Lord brought you from do I have a witness I can truly say that I've been
been blessed uh, that I'm a living testimony. Uh, I'm a living witness. Uh, so I'm going to let my light shine uh, in every dark area. Uh, I'm going to let my light shine uh, in my home. Yeah. I'm going to let my light shine uh, on my job. Uh, I'm going to let my light shine uh, in my community. Uh, I'm going to let my light shine uh, in the house of God. Uh, when you see me, uh, you see the joy of the Lord. Uh, when you see me, yeah, you see the blessings of the Lord. Uh, when you see me, yeah, you see the healing of the Lord. You got to learn how to touch yourself uh, and tell yourself uh, that I'm truly blessed. Uh, you better tell yourself uh, that I'm beautifully and wonderfully made. You better tell yourself uh, that I am a child of God. Tell yourself uh, that you are uh, who God says you are. Let your light shine. The songwriter wrote, shine your light on them. You got to learn how to shine your light uh, in every area of your life. Uh, you got to learn how to shine your light uh, even in difficulties. Uh, you got to learn how to shine your light uh, even when you don't want to shine it. Uh, you got to shine it, shine it, shine it. Uh, I remember the songwriter says, uh, this little light of mine. I said, this little light of mine, huh? it doesn't have to be a big light. Huh? It could be a flashlight. Huh? It could be a lighter. Huh? It could be a speck of light. Huh? But this little light of mine, huh? I wish I had a witness up in here huh? that I'm going to let it shine. Huh? I'm going to let it shine. Huh? The songwriter says, huh? heart the herald. Angels sing uh, glory to uh, the newborn king. Uh, Jesus, uh, he is uh, the light of the world. Uh, but you got to walk in it. Uh, walk in the light. Uh, beautiful light. Uh, come where, yeah. Uh, the dew drops uh, of mercy shine bright. Uh, all shine around. Uh, all day and by night. Jesus, 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 he is the light of the world. Tell your neighbor, shine your light on him. When they do you wrong, shine your light on him. When they treat you no right, huh, shine your light on them. Huh. When the doctor said no, huh, shine your light on them. Huh. Shine your light on them. Huh. Shine your light on them. Huh. Let everything huh, that has breath, come on, praise God. Huh. Come on, praise God. Huh. That his light huh, is the light of my life. Huh. His light huh, is what I need. Huh. That will guide my steps. Huh. His light light uh, is a footpath uh, in every area of my life. Uh, he will lead you. Uh, he will guide you. Uh, he will take you higher. Uh, let your light shine. Uh, let your light shine. Uh, let your light shine. Uh, let your light. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. I, I don't know about you. Uh, but I've been through some stuff this year. I'm getting ready to let my light shine. That this year will be a better year. I'm getting ready to walk into new blessings. I'm getting ready to walk into my new season. I'm getting ready to walk in it. But I need some light in my pathway. I need some light in front of me. Lord, guide me through every dark area. Guide me through every valley right now. Guide me through yeah, every city. Sickness and storms, huh? guide me through, huh? let your light. I dare somebody to thank God for the light. Lord, I thank you for the light. Lord, I thank you for the light. Lord, I thank you for the light that you never turned your light off on me when you had the opportunity to. But Lord, I thank you for your light. Everyone standing that kind, I'm going to shine my light. Pastor Pernell, I don't care what they say, I'm going to shine my light. I don't care what I have in my pocket. 
I'm going to shine my light. I don't care how I feel. I'm going to shine my light. I don't care what was done. I'm going to shine my light. I don't care that I can't see the outcome of this. I'm going to shine my light. The grief and the pain that I'm having, I'm still going to shine my light. The dyslexia, the disabilities, the discouragement, the doubt, the fear. I'm going to shine my light. The mental illness, I'm going to shine my light. The financial struggle, I'm going to shine my light. COVID-19, this variance, the pandemic, I'm going to shine my light. I don't know what else to do but shine my light. When others don't understand me and don't understand my praise and don't understand why I worship the way I worship and don't understand why others leave, I'm still here because I got light to shine. I, I'm on an assignment. I got light to shine. I don't have time to be playing. I don't have time to be uh, uh, dealing with the isms and schisms. I don't have time to gossip. I don't have time to tear down. I have time to build because I got light to shine. I, it's too much in me to allow it to go out. I'm trying to help somebody understand that God has too much in you to allow the light to go out. There are things that God commanded you to do, but you have not shined your light. There are things that you're questioning, God, why am I going through what am I going through? Why am I struggling the way that I'm struggling? Why things are just not adding and lighting up? Because maybe your light is not shining in the right direction. Yeah, we can shine light, but we can shine it in areas that is not of God. That means I'm giving my attention and I'm giving my energy and I'm giving my resource and I'm giving this and I'm giving that to areas that's going to give, give me self-gratification. The text talks about our flesh. But when we shine our light back to him because he is the S-O-N, the son of the living God. When I shine my light back at him, then I give God the signal, here am I, God. Here's a vessel, God. Here's an anointed one, God. Here's a man. Here's a boy. Here's a girl that is ready to be used for your glory. Hallelujah. So every head bow, every heart open. I don't know who you are, where you are, what you are, what you're dealing with, what you're facing. But one thing I can tell you, God is light. And in him, there is no darkness. And I want to pray that God's light continues to shine bright from the inside out and not from the outside in. It's what's in your heart. Curated me a clean heart. That's where it starts. A heart, a clean heart and clean hands. A pure heart. A pure heart. A pure heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray now, if there's someone online, someone in here, someone who's dealing with a dark situation. Oh God, their pain is so surreal. Their darkness is so surreal. Their, their situation and their circumstance, God, they're masking it right now. Father, we need light. We need light on it, God. There's no book. There's no there's no phone, there, there, there's no internet, there's nothing, God, that can do what you can do. And we need you, God, to do exceedingly above all that we can ask or think. And so I want you to talk to God this morning. You don't got to talk out loud. He can hear you subconsciously in your mind. He can hear you now. Just speak to him. What's in your heart? What's in your heart? That you need God to shine light on now in the name of Jesus. It may not be you right now, but it may be a family member. It may be a circumstance. It may be an illness. It may be a sickness. It may be a disease. It may be finances. It may be well-being. God wants to make you whole today. Whatever it is, it could be your community. It could be your nation. It could be your church. Lord, shine light now in the name of Jesus. 
God, your servant people are speaking to you this morning. They're speaking to you. They're speaking to you. They're making their requests known unto you, God. They're telling you what their challenge is. They're telling you what their problems are. They're telling you what they're facing. They're telling you what they're going through, God. Oh, God, look at their heart. Look at their heart. Look at their heart. And we ask you, God, now to move it out of the way. Remove it out of the way in the name of Jesus. Make way for the blessings. Make way for the increase. Make way for the healing. Make way for the deliverance. Make way for new and endless possibilities, God, in the name of Jesus. And God, we're always careful to give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. If there's somebody here, come on, give God praise for that. If there's somebody here, there's somebody here that have not come to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you want to dedicate your life to him, or you want to rededicate your life to him, and I want to give my life to Jesus. If you're online, just lift your hand and say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Save me, for I am a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me in your precious blood. Blot out all of my transgression and created me a clean heart, a clean heart, a clean heart, and renew your right spirit within me. That I may live for you, Jesus, all the days of my life. I give my life to you as a gift on your birthday. I give my life back to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless God for that person. Hallelujah. Bless God for that person. Bless God for that person. If there's somebody here and you're without a church home, I do not have a place to worship, Bishop. And I feel as though that God led me here today or online to be a virtual worshiper or a physical in-person worship. If that's you, just slip up your hand. We just want to receive you. If that's you, you want to connect with us for watch care or be baptized or join, we can do that. Amen. Is there one? Is there one? If you're online, just put your information in the feed. Amen. And one of our leaders will connect with you. Amen. Have y'all been blessed? Can I just do one more thing? One more thing. And I'm going to ready to bless this food. I'm 12 minutes over. I'm 12 minutes over. I'm going to bless this food. But don't y'all laugh at me. I don't know where Tanisha's at, but I feel like having an old school church. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine. Can we do that? I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. Come on, Tanisha. Come on up here with me. Sing it. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Y'all remember that when we were in church? One more time. This. This little light of mine. Oh, yes. I'm going to let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Everywhere I go Everywhere I go I'm gonna let it shine Shine. Every, everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for what our eyes have seen, what our ears have heard. We thank you for Serena Ruffin. We thank you for Quentin and Taishia. We thank you for Pastor Purnell and Brother brother on the drums, <laughs> Brother Ern. We thank you, God, for this worship experience. We thank you, God, for the word that went forth, that our light will continue to shine. We thank you for our visitors. We thank you for my family who travel far to be with us. And now, God, as we depart from here, but never from your sight, go with us keep us cover us bless us lord as we bless you on your day for those who are traveling on the christmas season in the holiday go with them keep them from hurt harm danger sickness and disease if the weapon is formed it shall not prosper now god bless this food that we're about to partake in 
the hands that prepared it, take it out the natural, put it into the supernatural, and let it be nourishment for our mind, our body, and our soul. Bless those who don't have, that God, you'll send resources their way. And we're always careful to give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, Facebook. Thank you for worshiping with us. Join us back to the altar Saturday morning, Wednesday night, recharge Bible study. We'll see you soon. God bless.